stroke is one of the most frequent causes of death and long-term invalidity, being also a case within the rehabilitation, which is an integral component of the complex treatment of these patients. Based on the recent evidence about the brain plasticity, neural rehabilitation methods are being developed, aiming to support the recovery and formation of neural connections. This could lead to faster motor improvement of the paretic limb in combination with current standard approaches. At the Institute of Measurement Science of the Slovak Academy of Sciences, we developed an intelligent system of a robotic splint for assisted neurorehabilitation. The system works on a principle of the brain-computer interface. The principle consists in an analysis of the measured electrical brain activity, electroencephalogram, during the mental imagination of the predefined movement, in our case moving the wrist upward. The measurement of the electroencephalogram, or EEG in short, consists in non-invasive recording of the electrical brain activity on the scalp using the conducting electrodes. Such a measurement represents a standard clinical approach. After setting up the EEG cap, the electrodes are filled with a conducting gel. The acquired values of the recorded EEG signal are processed by the computer, which is connected back to the robotic splint. The paretic arm is fixed in the robotic splint to make the patient feel comfortable. During neurorehabilitation training, the passive sequences when the patient is instructed to relax are alternated with active sequences when the patient is instructed to mentally imagine the movement of the paretic hand. The system detects patient's mental imagination of the movement based on the changes in EEG activity in the sensory motor cortical area. This is due to synchronization and desynchronization of the EEG rhythm. The patient is rewarded by the splint moving the wrist in a predefined way. The system allows to control the level of the required signal change during mental movement and hence to modify the difficulty of the training. The alternation of the sequences is maintained by vocal instructions. Relax. Move. According to the patient's state and needs, it is possible to individually set the training parameters, its length, number of repetitions or their difficulty and to change these parameters during the entire rehabilitation process based on patient's performance. Therefore, this method is a very promising and useful additive component of the neurorehabilitation for patients with residual motor impairment after stroke.